we got a lot of people championing the Bolin, and we got a lot of people championing an eye splice here. They're just not the right knots for this application. I challenge you to, with the splice or the Bolin, to be able to loosen it up while it's under tension. You just can't do that. But you can do that with two half hitches. So here we have a Bolin, and I challenge anyone to undo that bolin while it's under tension. It is just nearly impossible unless you have mechanical means, as one commenter suggested. You can use a marlin spike to free it up if it's too tight, but I can't, I can't feed this thing through, I can't feed this tail through and release that bolin at all because it's under tension. What I can do with that bolin is I can release the tension here and I can Loosen this up, and now I can, with a little bit of work, feed this rope through and loosen up that knot. This has been in tension for 20 some odd years, right? I cannot easily pull this tail through unless I loosen up this rope. That is not an easy knot to undo. Get some slack there, and then I can slowly work this way out. And once I get that worked my way out, then I can feed that through, and now I can release my tail. But there's no way I was ever going to do that under tension. And the whole point of tying your purchase line to these arbors is to have a knot that you can easily retension. And I can't retension this bolin. I can't retension a splice easily. If you have a way of using a bolin or a splice on a single purchase manual counterweight arbor, please show us. Demonstrate for us how you make that work. Take that back in because I don't want to undo it. I had to release my bottom knot in order to be able to undo that bowline. I couldn't have done it without having at least one of these easy to undo. If I had put a bowline in both ends, I would have been dead in the water. I would have to cut that rope. Now I'm going to put it in tension. This gets me a good start on my tension. All right. And then I'm wrapping around the same way and coming through and cinching up my half hitch, which is now a full hitch, which is now a clove hitch wrapped around itself. And that's a good termination point for your single purchase manual counterweight arbor. And the idea that a bowline is always easy to untie actually is dependent upon the material. You've got this cotton tie line. If you try to tie a bowline into this, it's gonna be real easy to cinch it up and make it really, really difficult to untie. I don't care if your theory says that you can go to 95% of tensile breaking strength with your knot and it's still, you just untie it. If you've got a soft cotton material like this, it's gonna be real easy to cinch that up and now you're going to have to pluck this apart with your fingernails or with something to undo that it's not going to come apart real easy you it's real soft material so broad statements that a bowline is always easy to untie is dependent on whether it's intention depending on what material you're using to tie it in and the applications so this is not going to be easy to untie and i've only put a little bit of force on it tie line typically has 125 pound tensile strength so i should be able to put 100 pounds of force on that if i put a full 100 pounds force on that that, there's no way I'm going to get that out without the marlin spike or without some mechanical tool to help. I can work my way at it here, but I got to pick at it with my fingernails. Not as easy as some are making it out to be.